There's an old Jewish tradition that any document containing God's name or quotes from religious texts should be preserved until it's buried in the ground. The Geniza is a place to hold, to store these documents, to conceal them and hide them away. Some people believe that these documents, like people, are living things and that when they get old or die, they should be honored and protected. Walking down the lane in Cairo to the Ben Ezra Synagogue, little has changed since it was built in the 9th century. The hustle and bustle, the noise and smells, the cramped houses and shops, until you reach an iron gate, on the top, a Star of David. Through the gates, there's a quiet courtyard, which in this neighborhood, it's like an invitation to prayer. The Geniza in Cairo held the religious texts and social history of a vibrant community for a thousand years. It contained more than 30,000 documents, many of which have been archived in libraries all over the world. Here in the National Library of Israel, we have a document from the Cairo Geniza that tells an astounding story. It's a letter that was sent from the Karait Jewish community in Jerusalem to the Karait community in Cairo. And it tells of a communal dispute. It's a plea for help. Ibrahim and Suleiman both wanted to marry Rivka. The community leaders considered the dilemma and decided that Rivka should marry Ibrahim. But Rivka wanted to marry Suleiman. When Ibrahim heard this, he was furious. And he said that if that wedding were to go ahead, he would kill them both. The community leaders immediately put her under house arrest, said she should marry neither of them, and hid her away. They banished her. Suleiman must have been a desperate man. He found somebody who could forge the signatures on a wedding agreement, a ktuba, and presented that to the community leaders. They saw that it was a forge. They banished the forger and then wrote this letter to the wise leaders in Cairo. What were they to do? The Ben Ezra Synagogue was once on the shores of the Nile, not far from where Moses was found in the rushes by a princess of Egypt. He had been banished, concealed, hidden away, just like Rivka, just like the documents in the Geniza. What happens when we hide ourselves, our heritage, our history? And what precious, amazing things can be found when we rediscover that which has been hidden? For it is in the most hidden of places that we find the most interesting stories.